You should control the mind of your opponent with mind control and stare at them like we stare at goats. Let's talk about it. MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, enter in the code YugiJesus on MetaMats.com and you get 10% off. Likewise, you can enter in that same code YugiJesus on LDBDuel.com and get $5 off the best boxes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just look at this. My opinion is very biased, of course, but I mean, just, I mean, just look at that. I'm saying this all the time, but like, just I, I, I have look. I mean, I, I, I have two of these. Just look at this. So my control is good at technically three things, but the third thing is more obscure. It's creature swap shenanigans. You can, if your opponent has two monsters, you can mind control one and creatures. To a lesser extent, creature swap shenanigans, but mainly it's good for two things, two things only. Okay, you out flip monsters and you out the chaos monsters with it. And this card might be the best at that. It's it's so damn good. Bare minimum, you take your opponent's spy and flip it, and they don't get their spy effect. I mean, sure, they still have spy on their side of the field, but you don't care anymore, really. <laughs> Just out it with something. So, um, yeah, what you really want to take is uh, Dequichi. I mean, Night Assailant's pretty cool because you flip Night Assailant and it blows itself up, right? Um, but you want to take Dequichi or Faith. Uh, bare minimum off of faith, you're gonna get your own mind control back. But ideally, you want to have graceful charity, pot of greed, whatever else in your graveyard, so you can recycle those and not let your opponent recycle those with their own faith. It's, it's hilarious, dude. Um, Dequichi, a lot of people play Dequichi, of course, and uh, yeah, you can just draw a card instead of them. Uh, mind control is. <sighs> Gosh, it's like the best flip outer besides Mystic Swordsman and Blade Knight, dude. It's it's so freaking good. Oh, and, and Knock, of course, of course, of course, Knock. But yeah, uh, mind control, being able to take advantage of your oh, your opponent's own monsters is hilarious. Likewise, being able to take your opponent's chaos monsters um, and either you know banish one of their monsters using its effect. But what you usually do, and what I usually end up doing is taking their chaos monster and activating the effect to banish itself. They can banish themselves. They target just one monster on the field. So you target itself, and not only do you get rid of their monster, but the card's banished. So they can't then banish these from their graveyard and summon another chaos monster. No, they're they're gone. They're 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 perma gone. So mind control is yeah, it it might be my favorite tech card in goats, like to main deck. Um, I also like maining uh, Smashing Ground. I, I, I like maining, I don't know, all kinds of wacky cards. Mystic Swordsman, I just I showed it a little bit ago. Um, I, I like, I like, I don't like my opponent getting flips. I like taking their flips. I like taking their Chaos Monsters. I like playing against everybody playing Chaos. Everybody playing Chaos and just knowing how to play against Chaos just wins me more games. Like, I mean, unless they open up full Trinity in the nuts, which just happens sometimes. I mean, if you build a good beatdown deck or just a good deck in general and play against Chaos all the time, if you know how to play against it, you're, you're gonna win, especially if you're playing crap like this to where you can take advantage of their cards. Um, you can also um, uh, play this against uh, standard Goat Control. Um, I mean, you can't, I mean, you could take, I mean, you can suck up something with the own thousand eyes like suck up their own monster thousand eyes or whatever um but like nobody's nobody's playing uh, go control anymore but like i've said ideally you want to take these guys um once again bare minimum blow this up don't let them get this draw off of this uh get your own mind control back off of this bare minimum another really cool thing about mind control is that it doesn't care about book of moon go ahead and chain your book of moon i'm gonna take your monster anyways and just flip it Freaking awesome! <laughs> like I love that about mind control. The best card against mind control uh, might be compulse. <laughs> Just bounce the monster back to your hand. But people don't really play compulse, so whatever. Not saying that compulse is a bad card because I, I mean I love compulse just fine. It's it's a great card. I play it sometimes. I'm just saying that most people play Book of Moon and mind control does not care about Book of Moon. I don't know where else to go with this video. This card is insane. It's better than brain control. Um, brain control only gets face up monsters, so it's still good against chaos monsters. Um, and this is good, you know, in Monarch decks because you take your opponent's Chaos Monster, for example, and then tribute it for your Monarch cards. Um, but you pay 800 life points to do it, and once again, it only gets face ups. So it's not as good as Mind Control. Brain Control does have the other advantage where uh, the monster can be tributed for, you know, once again, a Monarch card or um, with Metamorphosis, actually. Um, and the monster can attack. Wait, it can attack, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So it can, <laughs> it could also attack. A uh, mind control, um, uh, the, the monster can't attack uh, or be tributed, but uh, you don't care. You just, you, you want to take these little guys and uh, take their effects away from your opponent 
and then just out them with I, I don't care anything else <laughs> it doesn't matter um, taking advantage away from your opponent with mind control is fantastic uh, I main three mind control and every single beat down deck that uh, I play and I've main this in uh, I don't know at least two decks that I've, that I've topped with and um, yeah, it's a card that I wasn't always playing. Um, I, I didn't always see its value, uh, but once I saw its value and once I started playing it all the time, I, I haven't been able to shake it or cut it. Um, and it's not a great card in every single deck, but it is a great card in the Chaos Mirror match. In the Chaos Mirror match, so not just in beatdown strategies, but in the Chaos Mirror match, I will at least side this card for the same reasons that you play it in beatdown. All the same reasons that I've just explained are the same reasons why you play it in the Mirror match. I think this is this might be one of the best cards in the Chaos Mirror match. I mean, other than Kaiku and uh, I don't know whatever else people are playing. I mean, Kaiku is fantastic card, but mind control man it doesn't burn your normal summon it takes advantage away from your opponent it outs the chaos monsters and they can't reuse the chaos monsters because they're banished i'm just gonna repeat all the same points i've already made play mind control and dick slap the like button and subscribe subscribe <laughs>